In this video I'm going to talk you through how you can check for plagiarism. Now as the dictionary definition page here says plagiarism is the unauthorized or close imitation of the language and thoughts of another author and the representation of them as one's original work as by not crediting the author. Now what this generally means in online marketing terms is where you've basically written something for your website, you've hired a copywriter and paid them all sorts of money and they've written the web copy for your page and now you just want to make sure that somebody else hasn't come along and without paying you anything is using your copy to sell their product and it happens all the time unfortunately but there are a couple of ways that you can check for it and I'm going to show you how to in this video. The first way that you can check is by using this website here Copyscape which you'll find at copyscape.com and what you do is you simply input the URL of your website and the one that I'm going to use for this demonstration is this website here affiliateearningsbooster.com so I'm just going to highlight that and I'm using a PC so I'm going to right click and then select copy come back to the Copyscape website and then just paste it in and click on go you can see it's searching through now and there we go you can see here that there is the listing here. There are several websites here that have something very similar. Now some of these may be genuinely using your uh, web copy with your consent, some may be um, simply misappropriating it. I mean, for example, let me just click on this one here and you can see that this particular page is a search engine that has cached your particular page here or this particular page. Now if this was my website I probably wouldn't be too worried about this. Uh, websites are regularly cached by search engines uh, so they can load faster. So this probably wouldn't be considered plagiarism. Let's go back to Copyscape. As far as any of the others are concerned, again, if this was my site, I'd go through and just see exactly who's doing what. And then if it's not authorized, what I can then do here is click on this link to get it removed by DCMA Fast. Uh, this is a sponsored link, but there are lots of different sites online that will do this for you. Another way that you can do it is by doing a search in Google and to do that what you need to do is to find a couple of phrases from your web copy that are going to be unique to this particular web copy. So for example if I just scroll down you can see there's all sorts of lines here. Now you want to find one that is going to be unique because for example there might be a lot of different websites out there that have the phrase but still my Clickbank account showed a big fat zero so you want to find something that's fairly unique and not all that long because you need to copy and paste it into the uh, search window okay let's um, highlight that and I'm going to copy that right click and copy and then I come over here to Google and I'm going to put in quotes and then I'm going to paste that in and then do quotes again and click on search and you can see that this is a fairly common phrase because there's 1800 representations of it. So the next thing I'm going to do come back to the main website and scroll down a bit more and find another line. Let's highlight this one and again copy and now Come back to Google 
I'm going to put a space after the last quotes and a plus sign and then another space quotes again then I'm going to paste this second line in and then I'm going to close the quotes and click on search and you can see here there are now four results and if this was my website I'd want to go through and check these out just to make sure that uh, this isn't somebody stealing my web copy. So there you go, that's how you can check for plagiarism online.